Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this two earrings, I'm going to be using this porcelain clay. I do love to work with this one for my accessories. It's just easier to work with this to get more product and then you don't have to bake anything. But feel free to work with polymer clay if you prefer. You get pretty much the same results. So I'm going to be sharing two ideas. For one, I'm going to be using my piping tip 2D. And for the other one, I'm going to be using this round cookie cutter. And these are its sizes. For all of them, I'm going to be using this roller that has these two green rings on each end. Those are there just so that I can have the same thickness all throughout my clay. For both of them, this is going to be the same. I'm going to be rolling my clay. I'm going to be cutting two circles. This is how I'm going to be shaping them. Using this palette thing that is like kind of like mini bowl sort of. And I'm going to be placing my clay in there for it to dry with this shape. If you're using polymer clay, you can shape this first and then bake it. Not really sure how well it's going to hold its shape though, but you know, you can give it a try. So for one pair, I'm going to be using this dotting tool. I do have the DIY. Before my clay is fully dry, but it's like still soft-ish, like it's getting dry surface level, but it's not fully dry yet. I'm going to be making two tiny holes for my earrings and then let them fully dry. For my bigger pair, the one that I did with the cookie cutter, did you see how this shape is not flat, it's like roundish? And in order to glue my ear posts, I need a flat something. So I'm going to be taking two small pieces of clay and I'm going to be creating a base for my ear posts and let it dry. I'm going to be taking my super glue and just glue my ear posts on those tiny surfaces. Now I'm going to be painting both of them using this pearl acrylic paint and my brush. For my shapes with holes in them, I'm going to be using the same dotting tool that I did to make the holes just to grab them and paint them. I'm covering the back as well with my gold. I made it myself and I really like this shade of gold covering the back for both pairs of earrings. For my pieces with holes, I'm going to be turning them into earrings for that. I'm going to be using a couple of gold jump rings and a couple of gold ear wires. I'll open my jump rings with my pliers, place my clay shape, close it with my pliers again. And this is where it gets kind of interesting, I think, I don't know, maybe not. See how both my ear wires and my jump rings are facing the same direction. So I need to turn my loop of my jump rings facing front. I'm going to be doing that with my pliers. Then I'll open my ear wires, place my jumper in, and then just close it. And that's pretty much it. I love them both. I think they look kind of like the same, but not really. The dazzled ones, in my opinion, they look casual, a bit more casual. And you can pretty much dress it up or down. The ones that are not dazzled, they remind me of like a huge grandma's pearl earring. There's something classic about this ones, And in my opinion, they sort of look more put together. And there's always something classic about a pair of pearl earrings, even if it's like flaw, like this ones. I like how both of them turned out. Hopefully you like them too. Let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more earrings and accessories. And share this. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.